It has been a journey, my friends. I have been on YouTube for eight plus years now. Man, the last couple years have been a journey for me. I have been confused. I haven't been documenting as much. I have been really receiving so much medicine from living certain parts of my life or all of my life in private. It's like the pendulum swung from documenting everything to basically not documenting anything. I've kind of showed up in these little glimpses. For those of you who have watched some of my recent videos, you've probably been like, where is this channel going? What can I grasp onto? Like, what is the direction here? What is the focus? What are the themes? And these are all very great questions that I too have been quite curious about. I can't say that I have the answers. I can't say that it's all clarified, it's all written down, there's a game plan. But what I can say is that I have had this spark within me that has never turned out, that has never dulled, that has never blown out. <laughs> I've had this spark in me this entire time. More recently, it has been brewing, it has been growing. I feel like I am about to burst at the seams if I don't just start taking steps and moving forward somewhere. Finally, finally, my journey has kind of rounded this corner. I guess I'm liking the word rounded recently. Rounded the flavor of my matcha. Recently, I have rounded this corner where it feels like I'm starting to come out of this void from the past few years. This void of nothingness, of not having clarity, not having the answers, and also like not feeling an urge to have them either. But actually just being in the present moment and being in the arising of whatever was happening. Now, I feel this brewing within me this it's almost like a flower like a flower petals like it hasn't opened yet and it feels like this motion is happening let me make sure you got the angle there this motion is happening right now we are in the midst of it in this moment as you are watching as i'm speaking this is happening right now. And there's something about just starting somewhere, sharing, speaking, expressing, that feels like an important part of this discovery of where is this going? What's cool is that where is this going is more of like the surface, more of like the themes, the topics, but the core, this essence within me, this curious spirit here to have this human adventure and learn as we go is still the same. And this connection that you and I share, that we all share, our community shares, that essence of curiosity, that essence of innocence, that essence of playfulness, that essence of purity that cuts through all of the chaos, all of the confusion, all of the nonsense that also is a part of this human experience, that essence is still a part of this new chapter, which is super exciting. So it's like same, same, and then there's also new things happening and unraveling that we have yet to know what they are. I feel like on one hand, that was so well-spoken, <laughs> and on the other hand, I can see someone tuning in and being like, what the heck did I just- All right, my friends. Well, Elise Parker says that she is finally back on the internet, finally coming back to YouTube, but she has been saying this in her last, what, five videos that she'll post maybe once a month, saying she's back, she's back, she's back. So hopefully she does come back to YouTube. No one told her or wanted her to actually leave. The reason why she quote unquote left is because of the her behavior. If you guys don't know what's going on, Elise is fake. She's a scam artist and she is straight up lazy. Her channel has fallen apart ever since her and Addison broke up. And then when her best friend Carly quit the Raw Alignment business and moved on, Raw Alignment just dissolved. Carly and Addison Page were the ones that built Raw Alignment. Elise Parker was only the face. All she would do was sit in front of the camera, record a video, have Addison edit the videos, have Addison 
do everything for Elise. She would hire everyone to do everything for her because all she wanted to do was play around and have fun, but yet still make money. But at the same time, every time she comes out with a new video, all she is doing is sponsorship, sponsorship, sponsorship. People are tired of her always constantly pushing products in our faces and not being real. We don't know who the real Elise is because she is money hungry. All she focuses on, all she really cares about is money. Another problem people have with her is that she is very, very fake. When she made a certain video, she blamed everyone else. She never takes accountability for her own actions. She's always playing the victim. Oh, woe is me. Everyone feel bad for me. But in reality, she did this to herself. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other videos about Elise Parker to get caught up. Not just me, but there's a lot of other content creators who have exposed Elise. Elise changed in a very, very negative way and a lot of people got hurt. I know people change, people grow, but the way Elise did it and handled herself was not the right way. Not okay. But yet, she still plays the victim. In all honesty, I really would love Elise to fully come back to YouTube, but be her genuine self. A couple of years ago, she was thriving. She was growing. She was really, really strong on social media, on YouTube. But she chose money over her values, over her morals, and a lot of people did not like that. She also blames everyone and everything for her health decisions. She was blaming mold. When Elise moved from Hawaii, Fully Rock Christina actually moved to Hawaii and had a mold issue, but she took care of the mold and didn't have any issues after that. Sadly, also has a ED. She cares more about showing off her body, being skinny. That's another reason why she grew so fast on Instagram and YouTube is because she would basically post these half naked pictures all over social media to get the negative attention. Not just her, but a lot of people do this on social media men and women and it's very very disgusting and disturbing in my opinion and when you're vegan or even on a plant-based diet there are a ton of delicious healthy foods that you can enjoy and not just restrict yourself if you notice on in the youtube world all of these people who are on a plant-based diet always eat the same salads and smoothies and juice no one ever eats rice, beans, lentils, etc. And it's really, really sad and disturbing to see what has happened in the plant-based community on YouTube. Now, I do not believe that Elise was vegan. She might have been vegan the first year or two that when she first joined YouTube, but then she started making more money and cared more about her body, the way she looks, than she actually does about the planet and the animals. So in all honesty, I do hope that Elise finally does come back to YouTube. And it takes time for people to be able to trust someone on the internet after they really, really, really fuck up and constantly lie after lie after lie. I believe if Elise stayed on a plant-based diet instead of choosing money, she could have had a million subscribers by now. She was really, really popular and famous in the plant-based community on YouTube many, many years ago. So I wish Elise the best 
and hope that she doesn't come back to YouTube in a negative way. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what else you would like me to talk about. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell and hit the like button. See ya.